Hi all. Today we will see about the extract. What is extract in Tableau? Okay. Uh, in uh, most of the data sources, uh, allow the option of either connecting live or extract. Okay. Here we can see the uh, live two options here. Connection option here. Live and extract. Okay. So. Uh, after creating workbook, we if we want to publish the data in the online, okay, in uh, online. So in that case, we need extracted file. So most of the cloud-based data sources require extract extracted file. So uh, uh, today we will see what is the uh, what is extracted file. Okay, I will I will uh, tell about live connection also. So live uh, we all know that what is the live connection. Okay, live connection means um, here you can see. This is just uh, in this in this picture. This is the Tableau desktop. Okay, this is the data sources. So uh, from Tableau desktop, we are directly connected to the data sources here. Okay, if we if we want to do if uh, we need refresh. Okay, if after creating the workbook, we need to refresh. So some of the data will add continuously in that the data sources. We need a refresh to refresh the workbook. In that case, uh, it will directly go to the data sources and we will do refresh. Then we'll get the aggregated result result in back to our Tableau desktop. This is the case of live connection. Okay. So now this is the our main uh, main uh, topic we are going to discuss is that extracted file. So most of the cloud-based data sources require extracted file. So prior to version 10.5, 10, 10 Tableau used a Tableau data extracted file, okay, dot .tde file. So uh, starting with version 10.5, tab uses hyper extract file. Okay, so we the extract file we will call extracted file as hyper hyper file. Okay, dot hyper, and it will convert. And this uh, the new versions will con convert the dot um, td file that is the old version. Okay, the old extract extracted file we will call it as a dot tde file now it now it will um, it will known as dot hyper file okay so tab uh, this uh, this will convert uh, all tde file into um, hyper hyper file also okay so uh, i will show you what will happen in extracted file so this in this image here you can see the tab to desktop now uh, here is the data source here is the extracted file so when we do refresh it will directly go to the extracted file here okay then so uh, in that in that time it will retrieve data from the data sources we need to here we need to uh, uh, need to extra um, retrieve data from the data source but then it will um, it will take the snapshot of the data and it, um, then it will go to the power bay tab tableau desktop okay this is the situation so it's not directly connected to the connected to our da data sources but uh, it will uh, there is a uh, it will take a snapshot of our data sources that uh, some of the data we can uh, some of the data or all of the data okay it will take a snapshot of the data and then it will store store the data so uh, while do well while we're doing the refresh it will directly go to the extracted file not the data source file okay so So after querying, Tableau will get result from extracted file, not from the data, original data sources. Okay, so data can be retrieved from the source again to refresh the extract. It will refresh the extracted file from the data sources. Okay, thus each extract is a snapshot of data source at the time of the latest refresh. Okay, that is the extracted file. Now we will see how to create an extract. So there are two, two ways to create an extract. One here you can see I can directly click here. Okay, now it's extracted. Here you can see the config um, edit option. The uh, link will allow you to configure the extract. 
Okay, here you can see the list of options. I will see that later. Okay, this is one of the option. Second option is that in our um, data source, okay, uh, from the data menu here, okay, here you can see the samples superstore data. Uh, right click here. From here, you can extract the data. So you will get the get a box like this. Okay. So um, yeah, just I here I I I created a simple visual. Okay, I took region and a sales region wise sales. Here you can see region west, east, central, south. Okay. So then I now I am going to extract the file. By extracting the file, you can uh, you can uh, select you, you here you will see some options. Okay, so here you can specify how much data to extract. Okay, yeah, whatever means you can um, extract whole data. And you can specify here some options are here. So you can uh, mention some of the options. If you don't want all data, you can specify how much rows you want. want. Mm -hmm. So that we will see. Okay. So here how you can control how much data to extract when configuring and extract. Here are, here are the various options. The okay, first option, you, you may optionally add extract filters. Here you can see, you can add extract here filters. Okay, that's optional. Specific, here you can specify how much data to extract. Okay, by putting filters. Okay, filters, which, uh, which limit the extract to a subset of original data source. So here you can see in, in this workbook, worksheet, I took region wise sales. In in re region, I also put in filters. Okay, in re you can see in full filters, region is here. So while uh, extracting the file, okay, I don't want to extract this four, four, uh, these four regions. I only want to extract, while do refresh, I only want to refresh the data from two region. So I can mention here that like this and uh, filters details see add filter here you can add the filter my filter is region okay see i am selecting west and south oh, okay see filter region details keep south and west i can keep uh, li like this i can keep whatever um, means whatever I want to see that I will keep like this keep south and west I don't want to extract what east and center okay only south and west this is this is the one option the second option is that aggregation okay you can aggregate data for visible dimension okay this means that data will be uh, you can uh, data will be rolled up to the level of visible dimension okay, such as e by year by month okay like this you can see aggregation roll up to date year you can mention the year or month wise quarter wise day wise okay this is the one option it will only work with the visible dimension means i will See, we, here we have an option to hide the uh, field. Okay, now it's ship date. I can hide like this. Okay, if, so if we hide uh, one field, it, it will not... Uh, we, we, uh, so, uh, hidden fields. Okay, uh, it will not available. It will not available in uh, extracted layer. Okay, so here you can, uh, I already told you here, here we can, here, like this, we can uh, hide the field. Okay, this type of hide field we can't see in the, um, we can see while doing extract. Okay, so the next option is number, you, uh, you can, okay, you, you we can adjust the number of rows in the extract by including all rows. Okay, or sampling of the uh, 
top and rows in the data set. You can mention, you can extract all rows or you can mention uh, last 10. So I want to see last 10, uh, I want to extract last uh, 10,000 rows. Okay, so I can mention like that also here. Okay, in sample, you can mention uh, how uh, last 10,000 order like this. You can mention. So while doing all rows, we, we need to do incremental refresh. Okay, see. Here I put incremental refresh here. Now you can see table to refresh. So here I have only one table order. Okay, identify new rows using column. So if you want all data extract, you can put incremental refresh. Okay. Uh, if your data source immediately add records in your data source and there is there is a continuous recording recording uh, means a continuous uh, data uh, uh, is um, in adding in your uh, records so continuously data is adding in your records so in this case uh, you have a field um, in this case you can uh, you can uh, extract you can uh, extract the newly added uh, newly added data here okay so in this case identify new rows by using column so here you can put a column like <clears throat> date id row id see so this is the primary key row id or date it will not repeat means the um, yesterday yesterday's date will not repeat today so id is also same it's a primary key here you can put a, one of the primary key to uh, extract the newly added records okay so in this case uh, while we do a refresh it will not uh, refresh the old data okay uh, that will uh, only it will re refresh the newly added data based on the column we mentioned here that is the primary key field that we mentioned here row id so based on this it will refresh the newly added records into our power bi report our power bi records workbook okay that's what called incremental refreshing tableau desktop then you can do extract i think yeah at the bottom you can do the you can select the extract option there Okay, so this is what, uh, so this is the incremental refresh in Power BI desktop. Okay, so incremental refresh, okay, uh, can be a great way to deal with a large volume of data. Okay, that, um, so incremental refresh only adding new rows of data based on the field you specify. Okay, you would, you would not uh, get changes in the existing rows. Your, okay, so that is what called incremental refresh. Okay, thank you.